Wow, I had no idea how many people were actually paying attention to the things that I say. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, yesterday, I made a post to my blog about how I... Basically, I, I was sitting at home yesterday looking after my sick husband who uh, was lying there in bed, and I was working from home uh, so I could kind of look after him, and um, I needed to make a post, but I didn't really know what I wanted to post about yesterday, and I try to post every day, and I try to come up with interesting stuff, and I don't want to do one of those things where I just kind of come up with some stupid shit. So I, you know, I looked around, I couldn't find anything to write about that was really interesting me enough that I wanted to pass it on to you guys. So I decided that I was going to do a post about things that I won't do posts about. And I listed off ten names, and I guess nine of you agree that you're just sick and fucking tired of hearing about, you know, Adam Lambert, and Mika, and Lil Wayne, I don't even know who Lil Wayne is. And apparently, Britney Spears used to be married to some guy named K-Fed, who used to be really hot, and now he sort of looks like someone from peopleofwalmart.com. But anyway, the point is that um, the one name on that list that I really got called to task for was Levi Johnson. And everybody wanted to know why I was refusing to write about Levi Johnson. So I guess I'm going to have to break my rule and explain to you why I don't want to write about Levi Johnson. I'm really kind of sick and tired of hearing about the whole thing because the way that everybody reacts with glee that Levi Johnson is stooping so low as to make porn in an attempt to humiliate his former future mother-in-law. Um, and then I'm sort of like, um, people, I, I make porn for a living. Can we please not pretend that it's the most humiliating thing in the entire world, especially when porn is the one thing that we hear, especially at Gay Daily Hot, all sort of have in common that we like. Um, uh, naked men porn, uh, most specifically. So uh, th the whole thing, especially when I have to turn on the television every morning and see like Meredith Vieira and Al Roker get themselves all up in that little Twitter that they get when they talk about Playgirl, and it really annoys me. So I'm sick and tired of hearing about the entire thing. Here at the Jake Cruise Ranch, we have jet airplanes that fly over the head every few minutes, um, which makes for some interesting audio editing choices. Uh, anyway, where was I? So that is why I'm not writing about Levi Johnson, because I just find the whole thing really tiresome and boring, kind of annoying. However, something kind of interesting to me was the really almost shocked and angry reaction I got from some emails from people asking, why aren't you writing about Levi? What's wrong with Levi? We want to see Levi. We want to... And I was kind of confused because, I mean, really, he's not that good looking. I mean, he's definitely a very cute guy. I'm not, I'm not slagging him off at all. But I was kind of confused by the really, really intense um, reaction to that. And then I kind of thought about it, and I realized that I think one of the reasons that gay men especially really feel a kindred spirit for Levi is that we've been that guy, you know? We were introduced to Levi Johnson uh, at the Republican convention last year. I try very hard not to talk about politics, but I'm going to for a second, so if you don't want to hear about politics, uh, just stop. We were introduced to him, we'd heard his name, we'd heard about him, but we actually kind of got our first good look at him at the Republican convention. And I think he reminded ourselves of ourselves. We've all been that guy, especially us young gay guys, or when I was young, who, you know, we went to one of those family functions, a family reunion, a family wedding, um, you know, older sisters, graduation, uh, cousins, bar mitzvah, whatever it is. And we've been pulled aside and instructed on how to act. Now, Jason, don't do this. Don't say this. Here, wear this nice suit. We've all been shoehorned into that respectable image because the old people just won't understand. And seeing Levi Johnson up there on stage next to John McCain in this really awkward suit that they forced him in and they cut his hair and they taught him how to smile and look up and shake hands because they didn't want to turn off the old Republicans who were all conservative. 
Now, nobody ever tells the conservatives, okay, now watch your language around the young gay guy because he doesn't want to have to listen to your opinions, and he doesn't like it when you call him this, and he doesn't like it when you pry into his... No, they never talk to those people. They expect us to alter our behavior so we don't offend the old guys. But the old guys, they're never told to alter their behavior around us. I think that is why we all feel sort of a kinship with Levi Johnson. Watching him up there on stage after having been browbeaten and shoehorned into this role that he was obviously not comfortable playing and was really fake, we all sort of looked at him and went, yeah, I've been that before. I've been that poor kid. And that's why we're all siding with him. Um, the whole porn thing, and first of all, posing with your shirt off is not porn, okay? <laughs> that's, that's not what that is. Um, I don't necessarily want to talk about it because I'm just sick and tired of hearing about it, and I think probably a lot of other people are too, and we got more interesting things to write about here. Um, but anyway, that was it. I was very surprised by the reaction from people that I wouldn't blog about him until I really thought about why people like him so much. Um, I don't know if you are going to agree with me or not, but that's my take on it. Oh, and you know what? Never, ever, ever, ever think that you can't uh, take me to task about something. If you disagree with something that I say, if you um, are surprised by an opinion that I might have, if you want to see something or you don't want to see something, I might not always agree with you, I might not always take your advice, but I want to hear from everybody. Um, and cool, there you go. Thanks very much. And I'll get uh, another Shut Up Jason up here really quick. Okay, bye.